This isn't just an ordinary ride. Ryan Johnson is writing his own work of art, a steel creation 15 years in the making. Before designing motorcycles, Johnson started out building and designing cars and trucks, which began the day he bought a 68 Mustang. So I bought this bike and it was, it was great, it was amazing. Two weeks later I took it all apart because I didn't do it. So I completely redid the whole bike and changed the entire look of the bike and that kind of spiraled from there. And then I bought another one, then I bought another one. I would just keep building a bike for myself so this is a 2000 and somebody would come along and had to have it. So that's kind of where it started. There's a reason why Johnson's motorcycles have won awards. Johnson lives his designs, every inch and every detail. His friends would tell you it's an obsession. And he admits he thinks about bikes until they are finished, which in some cases is longer than a year. The, the design part of it, it'll be in my head and, it'll, and I won't stop thinking about it. Every night I'll go to sleep and that's what I'm thinking about. So with, with motorcycles, and I think this goes for a lot of builders, I mean, you're up until three o'clock in the morning working on it because you don't want to stop doing what you're doing. Building it for me is more fun than, than actually riding it. These bikes are not created just for looks. They are carefully built for fun and safety. Johnson once bought a show bike and after a long ride gone wrong, he realized the bike was unsafe and dangerous. So he's committed to creating reliable, unique works of art. That bike I built specifically for speed and fun to ride and every little bit of that was, okay, it's gotta be safe, it's gotta be this because I'm gonna be on it. Every bike I've ever built has been that way, but I can tell you, even if I was building it for someone else or building it just to sell, it would be built for, for safety. Creating one of these masterpieces takes a community of trusted builders, designers, painters, and welders. Sometimes you gotta let the painter, if you trust your painter, you gotta let him go with, go with it a little bit. And you trust in guys like that. You're not going to go in your garage and make fiberglass parts yourself like a professional guy that, that turns out, you know, 10 of these kits a week. You're not gonna be able to do what they can do. So you got to rely on them. So I've, I've, I'm stubborn, but I've also learned to rely on people that, that can get the job done for you. Part of the joy of designing is when others enjoy your work. It makes me happy, though, when you see these guys just excited. I take the saddlebag off. Some of them try to hide it from their wives how much they're spending on it. But other than that, they're pretty happy. But watching that bike drive away can be tough. Every single bike I've ever had, it it hurts a little letting it go. Johnson's success largely comes from his curiosity and drive to understand how things really work. It's a lesson he hopes his kids learn. I think if I never bought my 68 Mustang, never, you know, three months later had it torn apart in my parents' garage, of all the things I learned from that 68 Mustang up until this bike has helped me in my actual business to, to be successful. Successful at 60 miles an hour on a piece of steel, fiberglass and rubber on an open road.